Hey everybody, how we doing? How we doing? Don't expect a lot of big energy from me. It's a lazy Sunday, but I wanted to talk about this topic. We talked about this topic previously, and uh, I think there's more to discuss. We're talking, of course, about this G4 debacle. Now, if you watched my last video on this topic, I think you know kind of how I feel about this. This lady, Frosk, weird name. I think it's, ba I don't know, it's based on some character, fine. Uh, she went on a rant about how all the new G4 viewers are not calling her attractive and they're denigrating her appearance and she's not there to be attractive and video gamers are sexist. Okay. And uh, if we remember, my summary was, this is, this is a valuable conversation to talk about women in gaming, sexism in gaming, how we can make gaming a space where women can play games and not worry about someone in the Halo lo lobby. Uh, calling them, you know, slurs or denigrating them, sure. The problem is that G4 is uh, not a good venue for that, I don't think. G4 is supposed to be fun and exciting and talking about the latest video games, and anybody who tunes into G4 is not doing so because they want to talk about these social issues. Uh, it goes against the entire spirit of this network you're trying to build. Now, a couple things have happened since this rant. First of all, let's take a look... Uh, if you search for G4 Meltdown, so I gotta, <laughs> look, I made a thumbnail, I'll let me be honest about my thumbnail, okay, I gave her the little angry anime lines, I may have even used the, uh, the liquify tool to make her have little angry eyes, and I called her unhinged, okay, I'm gonna say that it's not the nicest thumbnail, but welcome to the world of clickbait. Some of you guys, I gotta be, I gotta be honest. Emperor Zio with the, uh, okay, the tears there. Quartering really knocked it out of the park. Okay, Quartering had this one, Legendary Meltdown. If you can see the tears, but he had another one. Am I gonna have to go to his page to find it? Alright, I'm gonna go to the Quarterings page. I gotta say, the Quartering. And, uh, people always ask if I hate the Quartering. I don't. Me and him have an interesting relationship. Can I, can I just see this image, open image? No, but can you see that? Can you see her face all <laughs> screwed up? Let me see, G4 TV collapse. I gotta say, uh, my thumbnail was mean, but this is... <laughs> what are you doing? It's, I, I, he's playing the game. I can't be upset. Okay, so everybody's talking about this, as they should. Um, as we've seen, if we want to check right now, we can even see... Uh, G4 TV on Social Blade. This is a site that tracks uh, stats for channels. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, they've lost thousands of viewers. They've lost 4,000. It's not good. But they are up, apparently, uh, 6,000 for the month. So it's not like the channel is dead yet. I don't know. I really thought this would be the end of the channel. Uh, I still think this channel, though, is on its, it's on shaky ground. Okay, they're getting a million views for the last 30 days. Estimated yearly earnings are 50000 That pays one person's salary. One single person. And they apparently have, you know, 15 people working there. So they would need to have 15 times the views they have now. Hopefully the television network is selling ads or whatever else. I mean, compare it to me. I'm one guy. I make half the amount they make, estimated. I probably actually make less than this. But, yeah, that pays for me as one guy. I can't have a staff of 15 people. I have one or two editors who I occasionally reach out to, and frankly, I wish I could pay them more. But uh, they got to step it up. I know they're also on Twitch making some money, but again, I, I don't know how they're paying this staff. I don't know what happens to them. Now, the media has also dipped into this. The media, of course, is reporting it as the media does. Um... No media outlet is willing to say, hey, this, this was pretty cringy. It was kind of a unhinged rant. It wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't the right place for it. It all just comes down to Frost is harassed by gamers after disgusting sexism. The gaming community has responded with anger. Uh, everyone is being awful to this woman. Uh, look, I'm, I'll, uh, videos that respond to her, angry feminist has epic meltdown. Frost couldn't take the, okay. Look, I'm going to say not everybody's being the nicest person in the world. Not that that's their job as a YouTuber. Uh, some people are being mean and continuing to denigrate her appearance or whatever. But I don't think that ultimately matters because regardless of if some people are taking it too far, I maintain that that rant, again, uh, was very confusing. 
She said certain things. She's like, I'm reading the same script as Adam, and yet I'm in trouble. And I'm like, well, you're not as good a presenter as Adam. You don't have as much history as Adam. That's why the, fan the fans are here for Adam. Or so we thought, uh, and that's what I think I want to get into here. I will mention one more thing. Uh, they have shut down their uh, Reddit. You, can all you have to have all your posts approved. They don't want people talking about this. I'm very surprised that they have left comments open on their videos. If you go to their most recent video, no one is talking about this. It's all about what this woman did. Uh, I said I feel really bad for everyone who's going to lose their jobs because one crazy lady couldn't handle some trolls. It's really bad PR for your channel. It's really bad. Uh, and also, their live streams that they're having, when this video was live, you are not able to comment on a live stream unless you've been subscribed to them for a month. So uh, they don't want to talk about it. If I was them, maybe that's smart to not talk about it, but the problem is they're promoting it on their official Twitter account. They're saying, we stand with Frosk. All the hosts are saying, we stand with Frosk. Uh, I think the, the smart thing to do would have been like, all right, we aired it once. Some people have clipped it. Uh, they're going to make fun of it, and let's just move on and never talk about it again. Instead, they're getting news articles. They're promoting it on their channels, and it's uh, I think it's a terrible move. Now, as I said, a lot of people come to G4 for this guy, Adam Sessler. If you don't remember, he was one of the original hosts of G4 back in the day. He hosted X-Play, which was one of the two shows people liked. The rest of that channel was great. There's three shows that people liked. They liked X-Play, Attack of the Show, and this cartoon called Code Monkeys. I thought all of these shows were terrible. I don't understand why anyone has nostalgia for them, but I'm willing to say some of you in the audience, if you liked them, fine. Here's the problem. Now, again, Adam Sessler was the big get. Because, big get, I mean, this guy's doing nothing with his life, but at least he's the only guy there who, you know, goes, well, this is still G4. I mean, we have the original G4 host back. And they even did this announcement video when they brought him on. As I said, here's Gus Johnson, another guy they brought on, who they've now had to bury because he had a scandal after forcing his girlfriend to get an abortion. Uh, not good. And I don't have the details of that story, and I probably got him wrong, but she wrote, you know, one of those I've been victimized posts, and this guy has been uh, canceled. But let's see, let's see what the big announcement was. Adam Sessler, gaming legend, X-Play royalty, afraid of monkeys. You know, I love talking about games. It's my passion, Jerry. You know, I, I love it so much I do it for free. So how about this? Just go jaw on with my manager. Let's get this thing done. Frost, badass commentator, eSports Grim Reaper. I didn't know this was in here. Tattoos. We're almost there on the deal, Jer Bear. Just gotta cross some eyes, dot some T's, you know, the works. I find that women oh, that woman insufferable. I don't <laughs> She's not a good actor. She's not a good actress. They're working on a show right now. It's like an SNL about esports starring her. Gonna be a train wreck. Gonna be a train wreck. So here's the deal. Adam Sessler's the big get. Or at least one of the big gets. I don't know. I would I would assume this is the big uh, reason to come back and watch. Everybody likes Adam. And even on the show, they're saying everybody loves Adam and nobody loves us, the new guys. And okay, it's because Adam's been around for 10 years. Here's the problem, though. Adam is an unhinged individual. Um, Similar to Frosk. Uh, he is a guy who does not understand his... Uh, what he is, what he is trying to be, what his role is in these organizations. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, Vito, you are the worst PR man in the history of the world. You are on Twitter causing fights all the time. Yes. And I'm going to make the argument that that's kind of my brand. I'm insane. I'm unhinged. I'm out there. I say I speak my mind. And it's not always popular. And sometimes I go too far. A lot of the time I go too far. It's been a lot of experiments with what I'm doing PR-wise, but having suffered through them, I know what you should and shouldn't do. And one thing, the one line I will never cross, I will never cross, even though I can be a political guy, uh, as some of you know, I'm a lefty guy, voted for Biden, I will sometimes say, hey, Republicans are screwing up, uh, the right is screwing up, okay? I have criticisms for the left as well, but I have had some harsh criticisms of the right. But I have never taken it to the level of Adam Sessler. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Just so I can get it out of my system for the day. Republicans are stupid, racist, and drink pee-pee. This got 40 quote tweets. I mean, I assume most of the quote tweets were people going, What the? I thought this guy was the host of X-Play. I thought this guy made fun video game videos. What is, what is this? What is this? And you would think, well, he's got one bad tweet. Okay, but okay, he's got two bad tweets. What's this one? Uh, Republicans have a small parabola. They can only swing between... The W nationalism and the Germans from a certain time period. Okay. 
Again, as even as somebody who has done terrible PR in the past, terrible PR, the awful, I piss people off all the time, I would never tell my audience, which I know half of you at least voted Republican. Of course, you know, the, the country is split. We have different ideas of what we want to do. I disagree with you on a lot of it. I agree with you on, on some of it. I really do. There's a lot of stuff that the right is covering, free speech, uh, the ability to get away from this forced diversity, whatever. I get it. I'm there with you. But uh, I'm never going to come down and call you guys this stupid word. I don't think you guys are Germans. <laughs> Let's be clear. All right, he's only got two bad tweets. Oh, no. Hot damn. Republicans are chicken shits. Adam, you're done? Fourth tweet. Until they clean their ranks. Republicans are a terror organization. They are Germans with no fashion designer helping them. At least he acknowledged. Oh my God, are there really this many tweets from this guy? They just get worse and worse. I didn't realize Republicans are Germans. F them. Uh, demon Republicans. Oh my God. All the Republicans in my family can eat poo poo and die. Uh, they're a disease. They're a disease part two. Here's what I'm going to say to Adam Sessler. This is a man who does not understand what he is and what role he's supposed to serve. Now, again, you can be a political guy if you uh, are making political content. If you're a lefty creator and you want to attract lefties to your channel and your platform, and that's all you care about and that's what you talk about, sure, go nuts. But the whole idea of G4 is not a political thing. It's not a lefty thing. And you are supposed to be the everyman host that anybody can relate to and uh, get behind, and, you know, you maybe you disagree on which games are good, okay? But that should be the extent of the disagreement you have with your audience. It shouldn't be. I fundamentally think that you people are as evil as mass murderers. Uh, Adam. Let's get, a, let's get another picture of Adam where he's not uh, all blue. Adam. Um, I want to almost give you, like, some sort of... Uh, some leeway. I want to say, well, these tweets came from, you know, way long back from, you know, before G4 was even a thing. Look, this one's from 2020. And uh, when did when did he get announced as, as a host? Actually, that's a good question. This announcement here comes from, uh, give me a date. Can I get a date? How do I see a date? Do I got to zoom out? Dude, dude, February 12th, 2021. Okay, so anything before that date, fine. You were off the grid. You didn't have a job. This is from 2020. And if you were smart, you'd come out and say, you know what? I was going through a bad time. I was mad at my right-wing family, whatever else. But uh, February 2021, let's, uh, let's go. Okay, so this was right before you got announced, a month before, January 7th. February 3rd, a week before you get announced as a host. I mean, at this point, you've already signed the contract, don't you think? Hey, maybe I'll shut up on Twitter because it's going to impact my announcement as the big host of this show. July 19th. Wait, you've already started hosting. You're already hosting the show. Adam, this was January 11th, 2022. That was a week ago. Adam, buddy, what are you thinking? What are you doing? And this is what I don't understand about these guys. Look, we all have private thoughts. Uh, I don't. I don't think any. You know, the right is again on the on the same level as the Germans. Some some guys I think go too far and espouse some bad ideas. But a lot of right wing. I'm friends with a lot of right wing guys. I do a podcast with Dick Masterson. He's got a signed Trump hat in his room. Actually, real quick, my friend here, Dick Masterson. He looked me in my eyes. He didn't say anything to me, but he gave me an affirmative nod, like he was confident about his performance tomorrow night. Mm -hmm gave me a sense of pride and we're going <laughs> so i'm friends with a guy who goes to trump rallies has a signed hat from the guy he's on the news talking about how much he loves the guy and even you guys in my audience who i disagree with politically on a lot of issues uh we we, we agree on so much else i don't think you guys are murderers and psychopaths and adam is just poisoning the well him and this frost lady why uh, why are they what are they angry about that's what i don't understand uh if i was getting paid a salary to play Dungeons and Dragons to talk about video games. Here's Frosk on uh, this this Dungeons and Dragons show they do, if I can find uh, her. Uh, yeah, look, she's getting she gets to hang out and play Dungeons and Dragons. And she's mad because there's some trolls in the audience. You're living the dream compared to a lot of us. You're, you're doing better than me. 
Me, I'm, I'm struggling just to stay alive, and you guys get to play video games and have fun. So I don't, I can't, I can't empathize with you and your anger. I think your anger is misplaced. I think that you guys need to calm down and really look at what's so bad about your lives. Okay, Frost, you got some trolls in the chat. Come to terms with it. Adam, uh, you don't like what the Republicans are doing. Okay, figure it out. But the way you guys are acting is frankly childish and insane. And it's not the kind of uh, PR face you should be putting on this channel. I don't know who's watching this channel. Because it seems like you hate most of your audience and that seems like a very bad strategy. But as always, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. Is this... On any level, is this a good strategy for building your channel? Does it make sense to keep picking fights with different parts of your audience? I know you're not you're fighting your whole audience, but I guarantee you there's probably some right-leaning people who would like to watch G4. Why are you trying to piss them off? I don't get it. I don't understand it. And uh, I love my right-wing audience. Again, we don't always disagree, but I'm happy to talk to you guys. And sometimes you change my mind. I hope sometimes I change your mind. That's the, that's the spirit of debate. That's the spirit of conversation. I don't think you guys are murderers. Hopefully, hopefully you never uncover all the horrible murders I've committed. I buried those bodies very deep. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe.